Live television, everybody depended on one another. The actors depended on the camera and on, and on sound effects. Uh, if if, if a, a doorbell was late or if a phone was late or something like that, they would be, you know, with their face on camera, you know, and say, gee, I, and that happened on the uh, edge of night. Uh, 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 Jimmy Lynch used to do uh, Edge of Night, and he had a, a, a kind of a weird setup of, 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 of a breadboard of bells, and, and, and each one of these actors and, or actresses on, on uh, soap had their own doorbell. Some would be bing bong, some would be bing bong, bing, and so forth and so on. So they had all these different names for the bing bongs. And then they had telephone and so forth, and doorbells, uh, uh, regular ringing doorbells. So uh, Jerry, uh, Jerry McCarty is up there to, to replace them, and um, he, uh, 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 he was supposed to, to ring this, uh, the telephone. So they get on air, he did it fine, and, and they get on air, and so he said, I don't know what happened. He said, my finger went down to do the doorbell, I mean the, the telephone, and it hit the doorbell, and you heard bing bong. <laughs> so the the, act the actress starts to go for the telephone, and hears that. Oh, oh! I, I wonder, I wonder who that can be. See, they didn't know that the thing is, you would make changes, and and they would make these last second changes right before air. And sometimes they say we're cutting the the doorbell, or the the phone ring, and we're going to something else. And she didn't get the note. So she's standing there, you know, and, she, and she's going, oh, I wonder who, who that could be. So he rang the doorbell again to give her a cover. And so she start, gee, I'm, I'm not expecting any. I, I wonder if it's, and then he rang it again. And as she walks to the door, he rang the telephone. Oh, oh, that must be, that, yeah. I'm, oh, the phone, oh, I'll be right. And she went and answered the phone. But that's what you had to do. You had to improvise, or you know, everybody's mistakes, and um, and sometimes you know it, it, it got to be uh, you know it would be horrendous if you oh like for instance uh, on Search for Tomorrow uh, they used to sound effects used to do to, to uh, uh, lighten the uh, the atmosphere would throw in funnies. So, uh, like an actor would, uh, or an actress would go off stage, and, and she said, "I'll be, I'll be right back." And she'd go off stage, and you hear a toilet flush, and then she'd come back in, you know, and so forth and so on. So this day, they had this this actress that had never worked uh, on a on a on a soap, on this particular soap, and so in rehearsal, you know, the uh, the girl said, uh, "Wait a minute, I'll, I'll be right back." And she goes off, and you hear a toilet flush. And then she comes back with the paper, so. So uh, and then the girl, you know, the girl starts uh, talking. So uh, on air, she says, "I'll be right back." The girl goes off, and this girl doesn't do anything, and she's waiting and waiting and waiting, and they're saying, "Kill her, kill her, kill her." And so after it was over, you know, and she just went up, and they they did they just worked around it. But after, what the heck? What happened? Why, why didn't you talk? She said, I was waiting for the toilet flush. So you had to be very careful, you know, how you fooled around, because some people, you know, weren't uh, you know hip to those uh, those kind of things, and um, you had to be very careful. Uh, you could throw an actor. <laughs>